day. Just now came back after watching Pony and Selvan 2. And I must say that this is far better than Pony and Selvan 1. Because Pony and Selvan 1, the screenplay was so confusing. And you couldn't have any clarity only. No clarity, nothing is there. And characters also was not developed properly in Pony and Selvan 1. But Pony and Selvan 2, my friends all told that you, it means characters will be clear. Because he told one thing. That you just have to follow one thing. That how this Arun Modi... That uh, character is the Jairam Ravi's character, Raja Raja Chola, how he will become Raja Raja Chola, how he will become the king, that Pony and Selvam, that you have to understand, that's it. Then follow the script, that's all. That's what I did today in theatres, that how the Jairam Ravi at last will become the king, in that mean points, what all plot points is there, what all twists are there, what all family drama is there, what all uh, dynasty politics is there, that you have to follow, that's it. Because action to hey nahi. Action portions and all, if you are expecting Bahubali and all those, means uh, huge action sets and all those set pieces, that you don't expect. Because this is a political, means political Game of Thrones type of movie this is. Like this is a dynasty politics type of movie this is. What all will happen everything. So, uh, story is basic. How that one old lady is there in that Punian Selvan one, that cliffhanger uh, that Manu Iratnam has presented. That how that Aishwai Rai, that old character is there. Means that character will come and save off this uh, Raja Raja Chola. Means Jairam Ravi's character, how, how she will save. From there only the story begins. Then flashback of that Vikram and Aishwarya Rai's uh, flashback is there. The love story, what will happen. How Aishwarya Rai will be banished from the uh, means Chola kingdom and everything. Then after getting banished from the Chola kingdom, how she will take a revenge on uh, means, uh, means the Chola two brothers. That uh, Raja Raja Chola, how she will plot murder with the Pandians and everything. Then she'll try to take a revenge on Vikram, means Aditya Kalikaran also, those two brothers who will be the future uh, Chola kingdom uh, king. That you should, you should just see how she'll plot and everything. Means the plot points and everything, the dynasty politics, everything is explained perfectly by Maniratnam, especially the first half. It was very engaging, the dynasty politics, the twists and turns, then revealing. Means the mystery is getting revealed, why she did that, how she did that and everything. Means it's getting clearer, the chapter is getting clearer because the page, every page is opening in chapter 2 and the whole page, whole book is only open. In first part, the book partly was open, only the cover was open. Here the full book is only open, that's why it is getting interesting. The politics part seriously was superb, seriously and A.R. Rahman's music, BGM was decent. Song, one song was there. Anaga, 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 Muga naga, muga naga, maga naga, hey, oh. That song was superb. Means that romantic song between uh, Trisha Krishnan and uh, uh, Karthi. But Aishwarya Rai's character, one thing I have to say, Aishwarya Rai's character was absolutely superb. Her performance was the best. Out of all the actors who were presented, means all the actors have acted really well, but her performance at the age of 50, the way she's looking, princess, like a princess she's looking, means her character was absolutely brilliant, that double role. Especially one scene is there between her and Vikram in the second half, where she'll uh, try to kill kill him. You should see the means. You should see the conflict, how she'll be presented, and how, you should see her expressions and everything. Outstanding performance by Aishwarya Rai Bachchan. Absolutely brilliant. Her performance is the best out of all the characters present in this movie. Seriously, her character was presented brilliantly by Maniratnam. Then before the interval is there, one scene is there. How the monks will protect Jairam Ravi from getting stabbed and everything. That interval sequence where Karthi will protect uh, Jairam Ravi that uh, he is basically the commander, the soldier of that Chola kingdom. How he will save that one? That scene you just see that is superb. I mean, still first half the, scene, uh, the movie was very engaging. No means uh, less dull moments, really dull moments was there. I mean, first half it was engaging. Second half the movie dips badly. Yaar. Second half the movie dips badly means lot of boring boring unnecessary scenes was there. Means just dragging the screenplay, just dragging and lagging, that's it. Second half. Till that Aishwarya Rai, that old lady is there, how she'll protect that Prakash as that mystery factor is there. There the movie picks up a little bit. But then with the action sequence, Mani Rattam tries to pick up, but action sequences are fully close-up shots. And action sequences are terribly choreographed here. Terribly choreographed. Means... I know that this is not a fully action mass masala films, but whatever action sequences are there, that should be choreographed properly, no right? That should be choreographed properly, full close-up shots is there and it's getting cut it and full another scene if they are showing. Politics, full politics, romance and everything they are showing. Means one scene, Jairam Ravi is fully cutting the enemies, Pandians and everything and he's chopping down, suddenly the screen flashbacks to the political part. And action sequence, whatever is choreo means whatever is done, it should be done properly, no yaar. It is not done properly, action sequences. That last uh, war sequence also means the Pandian's characters, whatever the Pandian's character, the rival character was there, there also it was like dummy piece, that Pandian's. 
the uh, pandyans didn't even look like uh, pandyans means strong uh, rivals they look like joker peas that's it means uh, with within the means by seeing the face of itself you knew that means jairam ravi and karthik are too too strong that villain was very very weak very very weak that pandyans were last war sequence so that war sequence also didn't uh, match up nothing then last the dialogues that arun mori the jairam ravi's character is there how he built temples how he wants development that was the high point the movie ended on a good note that's it so i liked it in parts this movie first half was really really engaging the political drama aishwarya rai's performance with vikram and everything means all the actors karthi then vikram his performance also was superb means all the actors have done really well political angle dynasty political angle everything was done very well twist and turns mystery factors everything was there but only that action sequence and screenplay is little bit lagged yaar in the second half and it dipped down and the action sequence at least whatever was there that should have been choreographed properly full close up shots was there that made it fully dull and that pandyas character could have been more more strong that could have made more means this movie could have been a masterpiece yaar if it should be masterpiece if the screenplay would have been little more engaging like first of it would, if it would have been unnecessary scenes would have been simply chopped off it would have been chopped off means definitely this movie would have been masterpiece songs also means only one song is there that song is brilliant bgm sanskrit bgm is there everything is there means it's making impact that's it first half was really good very engaging second half the screenplay dips so my ratings for this movie is 3.75 out of 5 stars definitely for aishwarya rai vikram actors and everything definitely you can watch this movie and for the dynasty politics and everything if you are interested in learning the rajana raja chola and dynasty politics how it is working and everything how planning plotting is there definitely you can watch this movie but the wars action sequence means it should have some build up and everything tension then strategy and everything nothing was there means just close up shots and randomly they have taken action sequence shots